Hello, everybody. Welcome back to House of Games. It is Tuesday. We had a great Monday. Four famous faces battling for the trophy right here. Who are our players this week? They are Jesse Cave, <laughs> AJ Pritchard, Aisha Hazarika, and Simon Hickson. I should say Simon Hickson, House of Games champion. Well done on Monday. <laughs> Two-point win. Thank you. Aisha, now, he was sort of dominant... He was in the lead all the way through, but you really, really caught him up. Just two points off the lead in the end. Do we think we've got a win in us today? Oh, I don't know. I mean, I think that was beginner's luck, so I think I'll probably slide right back down again today. But what if Simon's was beginner's luck as well? Exactly. <laughs> no, I think he's a seasoned pro. He's got that look about him. <laughs> he does. He's he does. He does. He does. He's old. <laughs> he has got a certain look. That is, for, <laughs> that is for sure, that we recognise in quiz world. Um, but listen, if you both have beginner's luck, then, AJ, the door is open for you, surely. I'm going to say slow and steady wins the race. I'm going to <laughs> build myself up Tuesday. Up. I feel more calm in my seat now, ready to uh, hopefully Excellent. win. Ready for some competitiveness. Well, let's take a look at the weekly leaderboard, shall we? Because uh, Simon is at the top of it with four points. Uh, AJ, you're currently at the bottom, but it happens on these shows, right? I'd say it can only go up, can't it? Yeah, exactly right. Jesse? I've been revising all night. Excellent. Haven't what, slept. What have you revised? I just put started? general knowledge... Facts. All knowledge, please. <laughs> now, Simon won the coasters yesterday. Would you like to take a look at today's prizes? Yes. Anyone who wins today has their choice of these. Ooh. There is the cool bag, the pillow and duvet sets, there are the cufflinks, the dartboard and the salt and pepper shakers. Yes. Jesse, what do you fancy there? Oh, I would love the dartboard. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Mm. AJ? Suede for the dartboard, yeah. yeah. Quite like it. it looks... Yeah, it's all right, isn't it? Just... Have it casually up on the wall, just yeah. Yeah, beautiful. Oh, what this? Oh, no, I just won House of Games. Yeah, that's <laughs> not if you want to play a game. Um, Aisha? I think it's the ice bag for me. The cool ice bag. bag. OK, yeah. lovely. Yeah, yeah. And Simon? Oh, I'd go for the cufflinks. Oh, no one's ever... If you go... If you go... <laughs> if you go coaster cufflinks, that's, uh, that's absolutely unparalleled in the history of the game. You can be really suave. When you're serving a drink, you can just go like that yeah. as you, like, as you've edged your wrist down to the coaster. And people are like, oh, my goodness, matching. And be like, wow. That's yes. how I rule. I tell you the thing about Isn't Simon. Isn't that some kind of euphemism, matching cufflinks and coasters? <laughs> yeah, the cufflinks match the coasters, if you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, should we play another day of House of Games? <laughs> OK, very best of luck, everyone. Let's find out what our first round is. Every time I press this buzzer, a new round comes up. I never know what it's going to be. You never know what it's going to be. Today, we start with... Sorry, wrong number. OK, fingers on buzzers. I'm going to ask you some questions. Now, in every question, somewhere in the answer, there will be a number. Before you buzz in, wherever you see a number in the answer, please add 10 to it. Very best of luck. Here is your first question of the day. Sporting event in which two runners compete with their lower limbs tied together. Simon. The 13-legged oh. race. The 13-legged race is the right answer. Three-legged race, we have 10. Comes 13-legged race. Well done, Simon. Next question. Add 10 to this, please. Place in the forest where Owl lives in the Winnie the Pooh stories by A.A. A. Milne. Simon. Guessing. It's something acre wood, um, and I don't know what it is. Um, the... the 20 acre wood. The 20 acre wood? It is not. It is the something acre wood. Anyone want to guess a number? Jesse. 110 acre wood. Is it the 110 acre wood? Oh, hey! That's, no guess. That's no guess. Well done, Jesse. 100 acre wood becomes 110 acre wood. Uh, next question. Add 10 to the title of this song. When you said what you want to say And you know the way you want to play You'll be so high, you'll be flying Jessie. Sh she's the 11. She's the 11. It's the right <laughs> answer, Jessie. Oh, well God. done. She's the one becomes she's the 11. Now, let's forget about adding 10. I want instead for you to do this, please. Add 50. So add 50 to any number in these answers. Here's your first one. Rare version of the trifolium plant that is said to bring good luck. Simon. The 54-leaf clover. 54-leaf clover. Yeah, 4-leaf clover becomes 54-leaf clover. Well done. Next one, add 50 to this. US motor race held since 1911 at the Motor Speedway. Yes, AJ. The Indianapolis 550. The Indianapolis 550? 
Well done. In Janetta's 550, well played, AJ. Next one, add 50 to this, please. Common name of the former driving test manoeuvre known as a turn in the road. Yes, Jesse. 53 point turn. <laughs> 53 point turn, <laughs> which is more common, I think, isn't it? <laughs> Absolutely right, a 53 point turn. Next sum, forget adding 50. Divide oh by God. 100. <laughs> OK, so divide all of these by 100. Condiment for salad and seafood made with mayonnaise, ketchup and gherkins. Yes, Simon. 100 island dressing. 100 island dressing? It's incorrect, oh. I'm afraid. Yes, Aisha. 10 island dressing? 10 island dressing? <laughs> it's right, well done. 1,000 <laughs> island dressing <laughs> becomes 10 island dressing. Uh, divide this by 100, please. 2004 boxing film starring Hilary Swank and directed by Clint Eastwood. Yes, Jesse. A hundred thousand dollar baby. Hundred thousand dollar baby. No, I can't do maths. I can't Simon. do maths. Ten thousand dollar baby. Ten thousand dollar baby. <laughs> oh, that's awful. <laughs> yeah, it is ten thousand dollar baby. Divide a million. Well, by I kind of learned from the one before. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> A million dollar baby becomes ten thousand dollar baby. Final question in the round. Divide this by one hundred, please. English pop group whose lead singer is Matty Healy. Yes, oh God, Aisha. This be horrendous. Uh, it's incorrect. <laughs> I'm afraid it's the right band. It's the wrong man. Oh <laughs> yes, Jesse. <laughs> 190... No, 195 points. 197.5. Is it 197.5? It is not. It's somewhere in between the two. Simon. 19.75? <laughs> I mean, it's the, <laughs> it's the last possible answer, yeah. 1975 becomes 19.75. <laughs> it's the end of that round. Let's take a look at our first scoreboard of the day. Everybody is off the mark. AJ and Aisha, you both have one point. Jesse, three <laughs> points. Simon Hickson, four points. Back in the lead. Well done. <laughs> oh, that was quite... That, divided by 100, genuinely quite stressful, <laughs> yeah. isn't it? Let's just move straight along, shall we, to round two, which is... <laughs> Reichard Osman's Haus des Spieler. This is a pairs game. The player in last place chooses their partner. We've got two players tied for last at the moment. AJ, why don't you choose a partner today? I don't know. I'll let, I'll let yourself choose a partner. Who would you like to go with? OK, uh, Aisha's going to choose a partner. I think I'm going to go... I'm going to go with Jesse. Oh, no. Yes. Poor Simon. you. Simon. <laughs> oh, no. that energy oh, no, poor you. <laughs> There's Jesse. Thank OK, you. so AJ and Aisha, if you'll swap places, please. Jesse and I, Aisha, are a team. foreign languages? There's AJ and Simon. <laughs> ready. Yes. Oh, we, ready. We? So ready. <laughs> now, in Good, this round, the French. <laughs> all the questions are in foreign languages. OK? And all the answers are in foreign languages as well, which means I have to read them out in foreign languages. But please don't worry about me. You concentrate on yourselves, OK? I've got my own problems. <laughs> um, here are your six categories. And Aisha mm. and Jesse, you're going to get first choice of these. So we have Mat Otduk, Igziska Olympiskia. Mythologia Grecia, Pop Tunnelist, Kimi, and Films as Suspense. So, Aisha and Jesse, what category would you like? <laughs> so, is there a language you recognise there? Is there a name you think, oh, Maybe I better know what that films. is? Films, yes. films as Suspense? Yeah, we oui, oui. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know. Oui. Films as Suspense? Oui, oui. Which we assume is French for suspense films. Let's hope. Here is your question and three possible answers. Dans le film de 1999, le sixième sens, qu'est-ce que le jeune rassant pavillon à voir? Here are your possible answers. Is it les mots, l'avenir, ou à travers les murs? What do we think? Les mots. Les mots. So what do we think the question is? In the 1999 Sixth Sense film, what is it that the young boy can see? Uh, and dead Les Mots. We think dead. it's uh, dead people. Let's find out. Is Les Mots the correct answer? 
Ah oui, c'est ça. Très bien. Correct on all fronts. You're absolutely right about the question. And you're absolutely right uh, about the answer. Very well played. The future and through walls were those other two. Simon and AJ, what do you fancy here? Olympics, I feel like. Olympics? I feel like, yeah, why not? What do you think Igriska mm. is? Ig Winter? Ah, oh. Oh. I like it. I was just it. thinking yeah, maybe yeah, it was games. Definitely going Interesting. for that. So you think maybe it's Winter Why Olympics? Not, yeah. Igriska Olympiska. Uh, Polish for Olympic Games. Here is your question. Ile zlotic medali olimpisk zrobil utsen vort. Here are your three possible answers. Tri. Sześć. Otsiem. Three, okay. set, otsiem. What do we think? So I would guess it's how many Olympic medals has Usain Bolt won? Zotic, presumably, maybe gold medal. Oh. And I'm guessing it's three, six or eight? Or it, I don't know. I think, as you said, uh, gold medals, Olympic, Usain Bolt, I feel like I would personally go for Ozzyam. But do you think, has he got that many? I don't know. I think we should just go with Ozim. Yeah. Ozim. Let's find out. Is it how many Olympic medals or Olympic gold medals has Usain Bolt got? And is Ozim the answer? It is the answer. Very well done. I mean, somebody was on our side there, weren't they? And you're absolutely right. It was gold medals. How many gold medals has Usain Bolt won? And it's yeah, three, six or eight. Very nicely done. Aisha and Jesse, your next choice, please. Either pop or Greek. Mythology. Oh, I can't decide. You decide. Pop. 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 Yeah, so pop yeah. on list. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It is pop music. Okay. Thank goodness. There's pop music in Icelandic. <laughs> so, thank you once again. Hver afesum timalengtum va lagatitil efer Craig David sem kom ut area 2000. Roughly. Uh, and your three possible <laughs> answers are... I'm so sorry, Reykjavik. <laughs> so sorry. Seven seconda. Seven minuta. <laughs> seven daga. I mean, come now. Seven daga. I mean, you would think so, right? <laughs> seven so. daga. I think it's... Craig, you know, we, we know roughly what the question is, isn't it? We know your language, Iceland. Come on. <laughs> You've seen what we've done here. We know the business. Uh, is it Seven Daga? <laughs> of course it is. Very well done. <laughs> I wonder what the actual wording of that question is. Which of these lengths of time was the title of a song released by Craig David? And it was, of course, seven days. We've got seven seconds and seven minutes there. AJ, Simon. I think Greek mythology on, is then. maybe... We yeah. can maybe work that out. Mythology. Yep, Greek. so mythologica greca, <laughs> you're going to go for, which is Greek mythology in Italian. Mm. Assolutamente. Here's your question. Secondo la mythologica greca, a cosa valava troppo vicino e caro? Your three possible answers are... Le stelle, il sol, La Luna. I can't translate that, but Icaro, Icarus and Icaro. So the two, I don't know, Icarus and whatever, they were the two brothers who flew... Too close to the and sun. ..and one flew too close to the sun. Il so Sole. You... Interesting. So you're thinking it's essentially <laughs> what did Icarus fly too close to? The sun. Yeah. Il Sole. OK. Is the answer Il Sole? <laughs> it is the right answer. Very well done. Nice one. <laughs> And let's see exactly what the question was and what those other two answers were. According to Greek mythology, what did Icarus fly too close to? Very nice. You done. speak Polish and Italian. <laughs> uh, stars, the sun and the moon. What a great round. Well played by everybody apart from me. That was <laughs> absolutely terrific. It's the end of that round. So, AJ and Aisha, if you'll swap back places, please. Uh, let's take a look at what that round has done to the scores. I mean, no one has... Uh, pushed any further ahead because we got full marks. AJ and Aisha, you have three points each. Jesse, you have five. Simon stood out in the lead with six points. Well played, Simon. <laughs> Round three today is... 
two clues in one. Fingers on buzzers, please. Your first category is... Authors. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you some clues to some authors. As well as being clues to who the authors are, the clues will have the same initials as the answer. So, which authors are these, please? Jotted Ring-related trilogy. Yes, Simon. J.R.R. Tolkien. J.R.R. Tolkien. Absolutely. Well done. Next author. Closet. Sorceress. Lion. Yes, that is Jesse. C.S. Lewis. C.S. Lewis. Very well done. Good clue. Next author. Actualised cunning detective. Simon. Arthur Conan Doyle. Arthur Conan Doyle. Well done. <laughs> Next category. British TV comedies. So which British TV comedies are these? Tucker tolerates omnishambles irately. Yes, Aisha. The thick of it. The oh. thick of it. Absolutely. Well played. Malcolm Tucker, of course, there. Um, next British TV comedy. These pals often lounge around a pub ordering consumables. Yes, that is Jesse. Two packets of lager and a pint of crisps. I'm going <laughs> to give you one more chance at that to maybe switch packets and pints around. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Two packets of... Two pints of lager and a pint... A packet of crisps! Oh, gosh! <laughs> Two pints of lager and a packet of crisps? <laughs> Absolutely right. Very well done. <laughs> Final TV comedy. Often fraudulent, always hopeful. Yes, I... Only fools and horses. Yeah, that's a lovely ah. clue, isn't it? <laughs> Often fraudulent, always hopeful. Gorgeous clue. Only fools and horses. Next category. ABBA songs. Which ABBA songs are these? Wellington. Simon. Waterloo. Waterloo, of course. Well played. <laughs> Next one. Moolah, moolah, moolah. Uh, yes, money, money, money. Money, money, money. Well done. <laughs> and final question of the round. Which ABBA song is this? Idealist harbours aspirational desires. Simon. I have a dream. I have a dream is the answer. <laughs> Lovely end to the round there for Simon. Let's take a look at our score, shall we? Three rounds down in Tuesday's House of Games. Odd scores all round. AJ three, Aisha five, Jesse seven. He's got a four point lead. Simon Hickson, 11 points. Well played, Simon. <laughs> two rounds to go, two rounds to hold on to that four point lead. And our next round is. Where is Kazakhstan? Oh no. Tablets oh. out, please. <laughs> oh, oh dear. Tablets out, please. Everyone's delighted oh. about this. I'm going to show you a map map of the United States of America. And I wonder if you can find the FBI Training Academy, please. Where's the FBI Training Academy? I think I might know the answer to that, but only through so many films there's a place they go to. But I don't know where that is, but yeah. I'd have a clue as to where it is they train. OK, everyone is in. What do you think at home? Jesse, did you have an idea of the answer to this one? For some reason, yes. I thought it might be Michigan. OK, so let's take a look at where you've gone. Yeah, you got, that is Michigan. Is it? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, great. If we were playing Where is Michigan, <laughs> we may well be, <laughs> then uh, you're going to do very well. AJ, did you have an idea on this one? I think it's in Virginia, but I don't know where Virginia is ah, on okay. here, so I've kind of gone for a guess. Let's take a look at where AJ is. I don't think that's a million miles from Virginia. Yeah, I think somewhere in that know, area, but I don't. Yeah, because really... I felt didn't they train it? Don't they train in Langley? But I could have got that completely wrong. Aisha, did you know this one? No, I had no clue. So I just went for a total random guess somewhere sort of in the middle of the country. Someone that listen, absolute classic. <laughs> where is Kazakhstan? <laughs> that is. Uh, that's what we love it. You are, yeah. I mean, Nebraska, Nebraska <laughs> area. And Simon, what were you thinking? 
Well, I've gone just up from AJ. I was thinking Virginia as well, but I don't know where Virginia is. But I thought it should most probably be nearest to New York so that it's easy to make all the films. Yeah, you're kind of close, close to DC, Canada. Pennsylvania, New York y type area. Quantico is where it is. Oh, where? Quantico, not Langley. And Quantico is in Virginia. So now it's a question of where is Virginia? Where is Quantico, Virginia, and who has scored a point? AJ has scored the point. Oh. Very well done. You're in West Virginia there, AJ. So nice. very nicely played. Knew the answer and knew pretty much where it was as well. Very nicely done. Now, the next thing we're looking for is Yellowstone Supervolcano. <laughs> where is the Yellowstone Supervolcano? But if you lived there, how long would it take you to type out your address on like, online forms all the time? Where's your safe space for your delivery? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Views just behind the bins, just, just to the left of the Yellowstone Supervolcano. <laughs> OK, what do you think at home? Yellowstone Supervolcano. So I assume it's in Yellowstone Park, isn't it? I'm, I'm, I assume so. AJ, what were you thinking? I've, I've just gone for the middle because I really don't know. Um, it's sort of Colorado, Kansas kind of area there. Aisha, what were you thinking? Again, I've taken a total guess and I've gone for one of the coastlines. Yeah, it's sort of top of California there. Yeah. Simon, any clues here? I've gone further up from that without knowing where, what state it's in or anything, but thinking the kind of you've got the San Andreas Fault and you've got all oh, the yeah. stuff along there. So. Yeah. Uh, you kind of, yeah, Oregon. There and Jesse, what were you thinking? I've gone for the same as AJ, but I've never heard of a super volcano, so now I'm thrilled that I have another thing to worry about, which is great. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, you're also in Colorado, which has got you know mountains and things, isn't it? So we are California, we're Oregon, we are Colorado and Colorado. It is in Wyoming. So where is Wyoming and who has won the point? Simon oh, wins the very point. Good. Well done, Simon. Very good. Nicely played. The next thing we're looking for is the setting of the bar in the TV show Cheers. I don't know the TV show. <gasps> Cheers. It's like the, one of the best sitcoms of all time. Isn't it? Frasier and that. Frasier's a spin off from Cheers. Yeah. It would be the same area as where Frasier is. Uh, oh, well, I couldn't let him listen. I can't guide you at all. <laughs> OK, everyone is in. What do you think at home? Aisha, we start with you. Do you know the answer to this one? It's, it's Boston, but I couldn't quite remember where Boston was. Right. I've just gone in that sort of direction. Okie dokie. Let's see where you are. That feels kind of Boston-y. Simon, uh, you also think it's Boston? Why did Frazier move so far away? I'm, I'm really confused now. So, no, that sounds very good to me. I've, you know, I've never seen Cheers, so no. I don't know. Aww. But, but I've seen Frasier, and I was it. thought Frasier's in Seattle, yeah. which I think is over. Yeah. So I've gone, <laughs> I've gone way over You've the other over, side. Uh, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. You've gone <laughs> Frasier country. Yeah, Washington State there. Jesse, do you know this And one? Ted Danson's in Cheers. And Ted oh, Danson. Yeah, he yes. is in Cheers. Like, absolute prime Ted Danson. Mm, prime. Before three men and a baby. Yeah. Um, I've gone for Michigan again. <laughs> <laughs> OK, because you knew where it was. Yeah. OK. <laughs> There you go, you are in Michigan. And AJ, did you go into the Seattle trap as well? I've also gone for that East Coast, kind of that same sort of area. Kind of uh, virginia -y again, but you're on the right coast. <laughs> so listen, we know it's Boston, so it's going to be Aisha or AJ here. So where is Boston and who scored the point? Aisha scores the point very nicely done. <laughs> well played. Very well done at home. You knew where Boston was. That is the end of that round. Tablets away, please, everybody. And we'll take a little look at our final leaderboard before Answer Smash. Simon was our champion yesterday, and he is in pole position to be champion again, carrying a five-point lead through to our final round. AJ, you have four, Aisha, six, Jesse on seven, and Simon has 12 points. Well done, Simon. Oh, wow. Where did that come from? Let's play that final round, shall we? Let's play Answer Smash. So point for a correct answer, point off for an incorrect answer. Your first category is... Double acts. If Trevor and Simon are up here, I know <laughs> that this week is fixed. <laughs> I'm going to know it's fixed. 
there'll be a clue, there'll be a double act below. Please smash them together. Which disco song by Andrea True Connection was covered by Banana Rama and Rachel Stevens? Simon. More, more, more common wise. More, more, more common wise. Very well done. Yeah, absolutely. More, more, more common wise. <laughs> Next one. Which science fiction author's works have been adapted into films, including Blade Runner and Total Recall? Simon. Philip K. Dick and Dom. Philip K. Dick and Dom. Absolutely. Philip K. Dick and Dick and Dom. Well done. Your next category is playing cards. So those will be the pictures. There will be clues above. Which Hans Christian Andersen fairy tale was the inspiration for the 2013 film Frozen? Yes, Aisha. The Ice Queen? Uh, is incorrect. Not the Ice Queen. Yes, Simon. Snow Queen of Hearts. The Snow Queen of Hearts? Oh, <laughs> nothing can go wrong for them today. The Snow Queen of Hearts, well done. Simon, next clue, next playing card. Which species of toad that is rare in the UK is said to be Europe's loudest amphibian? Natterjack of clubs. Oh, you didn't buzz in. Oh. Someone wants to buzz in. Jesse. The Natterjack of clubs. <laughs> Whoa, is it? Is it the Natterjack of clubs? <laughs> it is the Nat. Where, do you, put, where yeah. did you get that from? <laughs> Natterjack and Jack of clubs and Natterjack of clubs. Next category. Lovely to end the show on an act of grand larceny. <laughs> uh, thank you, uh... Jesse. Uh, but I don't think we can take away the victory. <laughs> he won on Monday, and I think our champion on Tuesday, once again, is Simon Hickson with a lovely score as well. 15 points. Well played, Simon. Nicely done. Yeah. <laughs> and, oh, no, we know what prize he's going to go for as well. Yeah. He got the coasters yesterday. Are you, are you sticking with the cufflinks? Nope. <laughs> hey, that's good. I'm what are you not, going for? I'm going to... Since you stole that last <laughs> answer from me, I'm going to take the dartboard and give uh, it to you. <laughs> oh, Simon wins the dartboard and gives it to Jesse Cave. How <laughs> lovely. Yes. yes. Oh, my God. Oh, that's nice. Thank you, Simon. <laughs> Congratulations, Jesse, on, uh, on winning a House of Games dartboard. <laughs> lovely gesture, Simon. Thank you so much. Take a look at the weekly leaderboards, which sees you very much on top. AJ, you have two. Jesse and Aisha have five points each. Simon Hickson, eight points. Father Christmas, they call him. <laughs> Very well played. Uh, Simon, two in a row. Can you continue it tomorrow? Let's find out, shall we? I'll see you all here, same time, same place. We'll see you as well, same time, same place, on the House of Games. Huge dartboard. Well, it's, a, it's regulation. It's, it, this is the size of dartboard. I've, ne yeah. I've never played darts. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. <laughs>